So finally, we've got squirrels. Now, these things are a real menace and not as rare as you think. Uh, so you've got this nice, warm, protected environment in a loft, which is much drier than trying to live in a tree. And so they're, they're quite... Uh, if they're cornered, they're actually very aggressive and they're very fast and so uh, can cause quite a lot of damage through biting and clawing you. Um, if you end up uh, uh, trying to encounter one of them in a loft, um, but you really will hear them. They thunder them out up there um, and they're very heavy footed. Uh, and so you get uh, problems with them uh, chewing because, again, they need to chew all the time. Um, so what happens is you can put these little combs in. You can see in the photos, try to discourage them. But generally, if a squirrel wants into your loft, it's going to make its way in. So very hard to stop. So usually what you end up doing is you put in a cage which traps them uh, as a humane trap. And then you've got to carry them several miles away from the property. Otherwise, they'll just uh, run home and you'll get them back in again. Um, or you can choose to poison them in less humane method. Uh, and this is a, a poison which will call, uh, kill them. But very, if you do get problems with that, make sure that you've covered your cold water tank. As I have actually uh, pulled a, uh, a dead squirrel in the stages of rigor mortis from an uncovered cold water tank in a loft that had vindictively died into the cold water tank um, after being poisoned by the residents of the property.